What's up guys, Random Racer here with another tech video for you guys today and today we're bringing you guys a sneak peek review of the new OtterBox commuter case for the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. So of course without further ado, let's slice this open, slap it on the iPhone and give us my quick in-depth review. So OtterBox was kind of enough to send us two different colors here. We have the Rose Marine Way, which is this pink model here, as well as a Bespoke Way, which is this blue navy model here. So popping these open, first off, these cases do come in your traditional OtterBox packaging here. And the first and only thing we're introduced to, of course, is the case itself, instruction manual, as well as your limited warranty information. So taking a closer look at the commuter case itself, as you guys can see here, pretty much largely takes the same exact design cues as the previous commuter case, featuring an inner TPU material, as well as a polycarbonate shell that surrounds it. In comparison to the other popular signature case from Modern Box, I will say the commuter case is a step above in terms of protection uh, from the symmetry case because it uses thicker materials such as a TPU and thicker plastic shell that surrounds the commuter case. In addition to that, you also get a cover for the lightning port as well, which is something that isn't found on the symmetry case. Anyway, since the official iPhone 7 hasn't been released yet as of when this video was made, hopefully mine comes in Friday, I will test this case out with a mock-up of the iPhone 7 here and we can actually test out the Plus model here here with my iPhone 6s Plus which it should fit so hopefully give you guys an idea of what it looks like but I will post an official video of this case once the iPhone 7 uh, gets in my hands at least later this week. But anyways to install this case onto the iPhone 7 it's pretty simple. First off wrap the TPU material around your iPhone. Next grab the polycarbonate piece here. I usually go bottom by lining up the flap here and it should just kind of wiggle itself up all the way to the top. You may have to adjust a few pieces. And once you're done installing the case, this should be your end result. Anyways, taking a quick overview of the case of what it has to offer. Starting off with the top here, you have an excellent amount of bezel protection, which does lip above the iPhone screen here. Moving on to the side of the case here, you do have covers for the volume rockers, and you do get a nice tactile feedback when you press on them, a generous cuddle for the vibrate and ring switch, and of course covers for the power button as well. Moving on to the bottom of the case here, we have two cutouts for the stereo speakers and mic, and of course a nice cover for the lightning ports. And finally on the back of the case here, we do have the OtterBox logo engraved on the bottom here, a cutout for the Apple logo, which unfortunately doesn't have a built-in screen protector, so I do recommend getting some sort of protective plastic film covering that. And last but not least, a cutout for the new camera, flash, secondary microphone, and is blacked out around here to prevent any flash issues. Overall guys, the first impressions on the OtterBox commuter case for the new iPhone 7 and 7 Plus is very positive. I like how OtterBox designed the case to keep the overall look and form factor as well as the feel of the iPhone 7, even though the phone is covered up with TPU and plastic. In terms of any cons or things I don't like about the case, the only thing I could say is the installation process is a little bit cumbersome, it's not as easy as the signature case, and also the Apple logo is exposed, so I do recommend some sort of protective film or cover to cover the Apple logo to prevent any scratches or anything like that in that area. In comparison to the OtterBox symmetry case, I do give the edge to the symmetry case because it's such an easy case to take on and off. In addition to that, it's a Fuse hybrid design, so it's a little bit of a less fussy case to play around with. In conclusion guys, for those of you looking for the ultimate protection for your iPhone without having to go to the extreme of the Defender case, you definitely can't go wrong with the OtterBox commuter case. Anyways, thanks for watching guys, hope you all enjoyed the video and as always I'd like to thank OtterBox for shooting this case out for review. Hit that like button as always helps me out and I'll see you all next video.